YouTubians, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm delirious, we're, we're staycationing, so hopefully you enjoy this video. We will have some writing video coming to you soon. We have discovered some more Pismo writing, um, different perspective. We think you guys will enjoy it, so that'll be coming up. But in the meantime, in our staycation mode, we will show you how we turned all of this over here into this. Woo! shiny it's like a whole garage makeover and it's craziness and uh you guys are seeing the behind the scenes so tell us if you like it bye baby i thought i would take you on a virtual tour of the city during our shelter in place i know you haven't left the house in days you've been working non-stop from home and um we're doing our part to abide by what um the mayor of the city has declared which is that Fresno is under a shelter in place. Although we decided to take you on a little tour of what a shelter in place is looking like here in good old Fresno Clovis area. I know that Clovis technically is not, um, has not issued a shelter in place uh, decree, whatever it's called. Fresno has, but come on. I mean, Fresno and Clovis, the difference between the two is one street. So we're gonna, we're gonna act like it has. We're gonna voluntarily abide by the rules so that we don't have to be forced into it like children because whether or not we believe wholeheartedly that this is um, as maybe as um, dangerous of a, a virus as as it's being portrayed to be doesn't matter if there's a chance that even one one person could be killed I mean is it really worth it just 15 days of your life staying indoors to limit the exposure what if it were uh, somebody that you love that had contracted it because somebody like me um, refused to abide by a simple simple uh, ask so here's here we are and speaking of, yes, shelter in place, um, haven't been out. I went to the grocery store and now I'm making my final run for the next 15 days, hopefully, um, unless something absolutely necessary comes up. And I will be picking up some medicine. Grocery store still looks full, parking lot, so I, don't, I feel like somebody else had said to me that uh, the traffic wasn't very... Um, Affected that there was still a lot of people out traveling around even though that order had been put in place as of midnight this morning, I guess um, And yeah, I agree with that and this is why um, when Governor Newsom Regardless of how I feel about his politics when he decides to enact um, Martial law throughout the state of California. This is gonna be why Yesterday, the scene at Walmart when I went to the grocery store just to pick up a few things, which ended up turning into quite a bit more than a few things. I was there when the um, shelter-in-place order came through, and I'm going to admit to you, that's when I got pretty scared. And it wasn't, it was because of the reaction of the people around me. It was because of the things that I was seeing happen in the store before the uh, shelter-in-place had even been issued. Um, and then after, it was even worse. It was, um, it was, it was a scary, scary feeling. And, um, so. Okay. So, like we were talking about, we're kind of on the lockdown. We're in California. They've asked that everybody stay home. Uh, stay home from work if you can. Brandy's, uh, because of the nature of her job, is not working right now. I am working, but I'm working from home. But the one thing we've been needing to do, and we might as well do it now, is deal with this garage. And the reason this garage looks like this is because we have had back-to-back, -back, non-stop, basically project in the garage, and then um, load up for trip, go on trip, come back, project in garage, kind of like mash, thrash, repeat, non-stop. So what that means is that there's a giant mess and disorganization in this garage. What we need to do right now is we need to take the car out of the trailer, spray it off with the pressure washer right here because um, it has, well, we got a lot of rain, so we're actually probably good, but it has some potential salt uh, on it from the beach and that causes rust and corrosion issues. So we're gonna clean that off real quick, kind of get things dialed in, put the car back in the trailer for now because we're gonna clean this garage up. So that is one of the things we're going to do today, prepping for a project in the garage on the car. So here we go.
Okay, so real quick, uh, like I was saying, we're gonna go, we're gonna open up this garage door, we're gonna go out and load this car up. Okay, for real this time, we're gonna open the garage and go get this party started. It's not really a party, but it's gonna get started. We're gonna start something, we're gonna start multiple cars. We're gonna start the car. We gotta move this guy first, this guy right here. Because it's in the way. And we gotta squeeze out through this. It's only as about only about as wide as the car. So let's do that. Here's what happens when Brandy drives the car and I try to get in it. See my knee doesn't go inside the car. So I have to do this. Okay, then knee fits inside the car. Then for some reason, she like she likes to really recline. I mean, like really recline. So, I have to fix that. Let's start this thing up. Wait, let's roll the window down. Here we go. Let's go park this thing, and then we'll get the car out. We'll be right back. All right, now that that guy's out of the way, let's go open this trailer up so we can put the car in the driveway. The Can-Am in the driveway. Be specific there. And we'll wash that thing off real quick. Here we go. That key, that key, out the door. this stuff cleaned off real good. Here we go. Here we are that. Change uh, changed his name from Trip to your mom. That's how dirty he is. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So we gotta take a look at this car. Look, look how bad it is. What happened is a uh, storm blew in while we were in Pismo. The car was outside. The wind was blowing. The rain was blowing sideways. The car had to be loaded in basically muddy sand. So this is what we were left with. Then we had to take it into the garage. I'm glad we have a garage now. Look at this. Look at this garage. Look at that. All right. We're gonna blow this out and go from there. We'll be back. Going on. I gotta get the uh, tripod out of here. Loaded. It. It's packed away, safe and sound. And I also need to get. We need to unlock this and get the other side and get the cord out so we can plug in. Okay. I'll start dragging the cord out. Well, you do There's that. This, baby. The cord, the cord for this is on the other side. It's storage hanging. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna grab this cord. Oh, okay. Out of the garage. Gotcha. 
You get the tripod. You got it. We'll hook it up. We'll Teamwork. Out. Let the battery charge. I like it. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. You guys have to go on the tripod for a minute, ready? Let me see the... I don't know how to use Okay, it's pretty quiet out here. We're doing a cleanup. It's gonna get noisy right here because the generator is running on the trailer. Got food in my face, but look at this. I just wanted to show you this. It's not really a soul out in the neighborhood because you know of what's going on. But look at this. Pretty weird. Okay. Out of, out, of, out of wind. We cleaned this up pretty good. There's, we need to wipe it down a little bit, but it's been trying to rain on us. We have more stuff to do. So, it's cleaned up pretty good. The car's cleaned up. We got at least, you know, anything that would corrode the car off of it. And then we're gonna put it back the trailer we'll let it dry off and then we'll clean it up before the next trip or before we tear into it for our project that's coming up right now we're gonna spray off the outside of this trailer we gotta load this car real quick let's do that real quick here we go right, I'm gonna I'm gonna nose I'm gonna nose this thing up on the uh, ramp and let the water run off the back and flip it around the other way Is nose this thing up on the ramp right there. Nose it up there. Let the water run off the back. Anything water, water that's stuck on the car. Just go up. Like that. Let it set here for a minute and let the water run off. Then we'll flip it around and do it the other way. Then we'll back it in and put it away. So we're getting ready to come up to storage where we uh, dump our trailer, uh, not where we store it because we have to store it at a different location now because a there's two biggers, because way the two biggers. paparazzi found us. No. Exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah, paparazzi found us and they were taking pictures of our trailer. So they moved us to a secure exactly. spot all of this. So it's a little trickery. We got to pull in here. How there's a you? car coming up behind me. They should go around. Here you go. Okay, they should go around, but let's see what happens. So 
know. Pull it out. Hard don't do it, okay. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, they went through. Look at that. Our old, that's our old trailer. And that's our old spot. A little boat fits in it now. Yeah. <laughs> that's our old spot. I mean, our old trailer. That's not real. Those Salem, the Side Forest River, those are nice. I like those. Okay, what's going on? I'm hungry. hungry? Mm -hmm. We just finished uh, getting the trailer ready for store. Well, kind of. We got a little bit of trouble with the toilets plugged up, believe it or not. Not the block tank, the actual toilet. Exactly. So we're gonna go uh, address that real quick. Oh, Easy. babe, look what you did. Cause I wasn't with you. Shh, don't. <laughs> That's what it is. I've been looking. <laughs> How did you do it? It's even in the right spot. You ran it over, obviously. No, it or was not. It. it was on the back. I took the one on the front out. Anyway, so we're here because look at that. <laughs> Look at that. We like to be set up before we arrive. Yeah. So. That's how I, I did it that, that way because it, it was in the perfect spot and that way when we came back we could hit the perfect spot. Now he knows where to go. I don't even have to get on the truck. Yeah. No, I'm good. So, so here's what's going on. We are dropping off the trailer. We don't know for how long at this point. Hopefully not too long. We have a trip planned July 11th. Yep. Is our next truck trip. Bash. I know for sure we had planned on making a trip before that. But July 10th is our next trip, actually. July 10th is a Friday, and we'll be heading out and staying um, through the 12th. Uh, I, I booked through the 13th in case somebody wanted to spend their birthday there again. Yeah. But that's Trash Bash 4.0, so we'll be there with a lot of our friends, including Sand Asylum, Brian and April, first trip, Tony and Celeste, first trip. That's me. Yep, can't wait. In the meantime, we're dropping this off for who knows how long, hopefully not too long. Uh, we may have a trip in between then, so some in between there somewhere, I would hope. I hope we'll so. See. We can make a trip. Yeah. We'll just make one. All right. We're going to do this. We'll be back. Do I need to uh, turn my phone on and go out there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here's what's going on. Like I said, we're in the garage. Finally, we're in the garage. Uh, and we're gonna clean up this area. So this is not happening today probably, but from here, this all the way around. All of this, all of this mess. It's gonna get cleaned up. This is gonna be kind of a more usable space. Those shelves are probably gonna get a little bit thinned out if I have my way. That's what's happening right now. Here we go, we'll be right back.
What's going on? What's not going on? Look at this. Look at all this. It does look good. Look at that. I'm not really sweaty. Oh. This is um, vitamin E. All cleaned it up. So much better, babe. Good look idea. This. Good plan. Yeah, look at the bench. Remember all this? What a mess we had. Look at Spider-Man. All He's this hair. Straightened up. Yeah. All this area was a mess. Now we have all this to work with. All of this. All this clean. Show the clubhouse. And then we have craft corner down here for the kids. Yep. Yeah. Tires are going to get relocated somewhere else. To the off-road area. So we have this to work with because, uh, well, we still got to deal with this. Judge! Look at that. It's not necessary all to show it. So all of that has to go somewhere. Some of it's going to be the trash or somebody else's house or something. Uh, welder's going to go here. There's floor jack, floor stands, stuff like that. Clean all that up, that area. Uh, Extend the um, flooring. Yeah, finish the flooring. Yeah, actually this would be the perfect time because we have a wide open space. We haven't had that. Yeah. I'm excited about this actually and um, We should finish the floor. That would be a good idea. That would be. Now and we have, we have more down here a bunch. And yeah. we have actually uh Yeah if we, we're cleaning as we went, so this is just a matter of now. Yeah. So if we just finish the flooring up to like say here, it'd be easy. Oh so super easy. Super easy. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It'll really uh bring the room together. But that's next video. Because we're done with this or video. Or the one after. We're tired. And we're tired we got editing to do we got a movie to watch tonight we were staycationing and this is how we did it we decided to get out this is our out of the house because we're sheltering in place and being responsible uh, making sure that we're not you know out there uh doing anything to hurt anybody really just doing what we're told because we believe that this is going to pass and we don't want to be a part of the problem yeah that's our that's our opinion. That's, that's our, our opinion. Choice. We there's not enough info out there to know exactly what's happening, so we just yeah. choose to stay here. Yeah, it doesn't hurt us at all right now. I'm working from home, so and we're having fun. We're yeah. like bonding. We don't even hate each other, guys. <laughs> we just found that out. No, I'm just kidding. But um, thank you guys as always for watching. Thank you to our awesome subscribers. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying our videos, even though we're not out roading we will be soon because we're going to really need that sand therapy we can need some wind and some uh, throttling in our life pretty quick so yeah we still have some more pismo video to put oh, up oh god we have more riding video we have so much more video so you guys if you aren't subscribed go ahead and do it while you're here please we appreciate it it does help us um click that little bell so you're notified because we have a bunch of stuff coming up and we want you to be a part of it um speaking of that join our facebook group dandy off-road adventure seekers link below share your staycation plans share pictures and videos make us smile we're all about being positive because that's that's what we can control our attitude so thank you guys so much you guys are amazing and our patreon link is going to be below too we have some awesome patrons you guys we really appreciate you guys. They get to see some footage that we don't release anywhere else, some pictures, some goofiness, and um, some early release access to videos that we're putting up. So, um, And leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. And if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, dislike two times. That way I know not to do what we're doing. We'll just stop immediately. So thank you guys. We appreciate you. And peace.